Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Uh, quick video, quick q and I know every time I say quick, it ends up being seven minutes, but I'm going to try to keep this one to uh, no more than three to five minutes. All right, full body workout. Um, is it possible with dumbbells alone? I don't want to read the message because it's too long, but he's saying a friend of mine gave me dumbbells, waist ranging from 10 to 60 pounds, and um, I'm not able to go to the gym until summer again, uh, where I'm free from college and work. Uh, pretty much he's trying to say, can he build a great physique using dumbbells alone? <clears throat> ranging from 10 to 60 pounds and he's only training at home well it's possible number one because like i said I disturbed by my friend who got arrested back in 2007 and came back and before he got arrested we used to work out at the gym obviously and when he came back he was he was only arrested for six months and he came back bigger than when we used to be able to use waste and the place he was at didn't have they didn't have access to waste. they're not allowed to take waste. they took waste out of the system so uh obviously i made a video about why people in prison get so big but one of the number one reason it's not just sleep you know it's the most anabolic thing you could do it's high repetitions right time on attention i don't like saying high repetition because you could do five to eight reps with 40 second time on attention as opposed to somebody doing 20 reps in like 20 seconds so i don't like saying high, high repetition i like saying high, higher time on attention yes it's possible and pretty much all he did back then him and the rest of the jail motherfuckers was pull-ups push-ups Believe it or not, pull-ups and push-ups, and he came back jacked. And the thing is, because they only had pull-ups, right, uh, if they were able to do 10 reps, that was not enough for them to get, like, a good pump because, you know, they can't increase the weight or whatever. So they would challenge each other. Like, he would do 10 reps, and his friend would do, like, 11 and then 12. And they got to the point where they were doing, like, 50, 50 rep sets of pull-ups. And obviously, if anybody does 50 reps of anything, right, um, whether you do four sets, drops, or whatever, What's the first thing you don't know is this huge pump, right? And I made a video explaining the importance of the pump, guys. Yes, progressive overload is important. Yes, you want to increase the weight uh, every time you go to the gym or as often as possible. But time and attention is everything. The pump, chasing the pump is the reason why bodybuilders are more jacked than powerlifters, even if they both um, took the same substances, right? Because you simply need more time and attention to make a muscle hypertrophy strength. You don't really need a lot of time, to, time on the tissue to get stronger. You could do three to five reps and get strong as fuck, but it doesn't necessarily mean the muscle is going to hypertrophy to, to the size of the, you know, of a bodybuilder. So if you don't have access to heavy-ass weights, do higher repetitions, higher repetitions, higher time on the tension. Uh, do, for example, you have 10 to 60 pounds. I only have 10-pound dumbbells, and me, my uncle, and Hans are able to get good workouts at, you know, at the house. Um, it's just all about finding techniques to keep the t tension high, but at the same time, keep it challenging, right? You don't want to pick 10-pound dumbbells and do 100 reps, right? Um, even though that, that that can work in some instances. But you want to keep the weight heavy to challenge. What is this? An allergic reaction? Um, you want to keep the weights heavy enough to, to get a challenging workout. For example, when you're doing shoulders, to answer your question, full body workout, shoulders, you could use 50-pound dumbbells and do standing dumbbell presses, right? Um, you could do front raises, you could do side laterals, you could do bent over laterals, right? You could do the Nephilim shoulder workout that I showed you guys. Um, and that, that's that shoulders right there. Uh, for back, you could do bent over rows. 60 pounds is more than enough to do uh, one arm dumbbell rows, depending on your level of uh, how long you've been training. Or you could do two-handed dumbbell rows. Um, and that's back. Pull-ups, obviously for your, for your lats, you could do pull-ups. Or you could do underhand um, dumbbell rows, right? Underhand to target the lower lats. For chest, obviously, you could do presses, you could do dips, you could use chairs to do dips, right? Um, find whatever it is to work. For legs, you could do lunges. Believe it or not, lunges can become more demanding than, than um, leg press and leg extension if you do them right. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's fucking with me. I don't like seeing fucking dots on my arm. If, if more but comes, I'm sexy. But if I'm sexy. More comes, then it's allergic reaction or something. See this shit on my arm, guys? You guys can't see. Anyway, this video got to stay under five minutes. Um... So yeah, for legs, I just told you, uh, for for calves, you pretty much fuck unless you're a white boy, you Asian, and you got big, um, big, big calves. Unless you want to just you know go up the stairs and do a lot of jump roping. For forearms, you could do forearm curls. Uh, Sixty pound dumbbells, you could go outside and do formal walks for a long time. You know, you could do it after you're done with back when your forearms are already fatigued. Uh, what else you could do? Uh, did I mention with the triceps? Boy, you could do skull crushers with dumbbells. You could do kickbacks, uh, and you got weights from ten to sixty, so you could do a lot of things with that. Oh my god, this video is about five minutes. Um, if I didn't cover anything, comment below. But yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with dumbbells from 10 to 60 pounds, right? Remember back in the days, they didn't have cables and all these machines we have now. And they were able to build great physiques. Uh, it's better if you had a barbell, but like I said, you could still make good progress with a dumbbell. All right, I'm out of here. Uh, yes, I kept my words. Five minutes.